Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Wing Nut Wednesday, where every Wednesday we talk about some barbecue news if we have time and if there's anything interesting to share with you, and we give away stuff, which is actually what I like to do more than just telling you about some boring barbecue news. But we got a little bit of barbecue news for you, so let's hit it. on down into the barbecue competition circuit and really guys barbecue competitions are festivals as well it's a great place to go to see what the latest crazes are the trends yes barbecue gets trendy from time to time and also who the good cooks out there are and what kind of products do they have to showcase guys so let's uh, let's go on down to this particular website that i found and and uh, let's take a look all right, what we got here is the uh, barbecuechamps.com. Uh, I don't know a whole lot about the uh, creators of the website, but I noticed that they uh, have a lot of good barbecue competition uh, information. So uh, obviously we're well into this current year of 2022. So I'm just going to scroll on down to the next one that's coming up here, which is the Giant National Capital Barbecue Battle, Washington, D.C., guys. Hey, if you don't like how your gas prices are going, you can kill two birds with one stone, barbecue festival, and complain to your uh, state representative. Okay, this is happening on June 25th and 26th, obviously, so a good weekend event right there. Um, the source is Giant National Capital Barbecue Battle, so uh, it is a, uh, looks like it's a sanctioned event by the Kansas City Barbecue Society, KCBS, guys, if you've never heard of that. So this premier barbecue food music festival will take place on a several block stretch of Pennsylvania Avenue in Washington, D.C., guys, right downtown. Well, honestly, I've never been there. I don't know if they have a downtown or not, or if it's just one big confusing mess. But I'll bet it's the later. But check it out, guys. It's obviously a family-friendly event. Uh, you're going to enjoy mouth-watering barbecue, beef brisket, chicken, pulled pork ribs, and all that mouth wandering sides that has to go on. There's a Facebook page, uh, and I will drop a link to this actual website, and you can go follow the links yourself. And there's a few other events coming up, the Windy City Cookout and the American Royal World Series of Barbecue, which is actually a big one, guys. Haven't been there yet, but I went and checked out the website. Um, it's pretty big, guys. It looks pretty, uh, you know, pretty awesome. I uh, wish I could go. Fortunately, it's not in the cars this year, but one of these days. Uh, and then there's a few little things down south, Lexington, Kentucky, and, uh, and et cetera. So guys, go check it out. It looks like a lot of fun. And one of our local barbecue suppliers, about an hour from us, the barbecue headquarters is actually where we purchased our Yoder smoker a couple of years back. And by the way, I'll leave a card here to that video. The State Cook-Offs Association is hosting a summer barbecue uh, steak cook-off uh, competition there. It's a sanctioned event by the, yep, you guessed it, Steak Cook-Off Association. Uh, it's a great organization you could join. Uh, we actually did a competition a few years back. I'll also drop a link down in the description or a card up here to that. Go check it out. Uh, it's a fun time. It's really neat. It is a specific, very narrow uh, competition of steak cooking it may not necessarily be the kind of steak you want to eat uh, but that's what competitions are all about guys you're trying to please a particular judge you're hoping that those judges are going to take that first bite and like your steak over the others and uh, i think they're all supposed to be medium uh, and i know a lot of people myself included like medium rare but guys it's competition that's probably the biggest thing you need to know about that is it's not going to be cooked how you necessarily want to eat it Okay, this week we're gonna give away, again, two 12 ounce Grillaholics SPG, and then we have the SPG with butter. Uh, this is really good, tasty guy, uh, stuff, guys. They also have some uh, other new products on their website. Go check it out. We're gonna leave a link down in the description to Grillaholics. If you buy something, be sure at checkout to use discount code GREENHORN, and you're gonna get 20% off whatever they have. And as a special, guys, we're also giving away this month this month only, a box of 100 heavy duty 5.5 mil, the Clean Space Project nitrile heavy duty gloves. Guys, my last video uh, that we made uh, came out this past Sunday. We did a quick little review on these gloves. Uh, they're really nice. They are heavy duty. Uh, these happen to be the XL. 
and um, they have these little dimples on the fingertips, which actually, you'd be surprised of how nice that that actually makes it. Guys, I'll leave a link down in the description to our Amazon store if you wanna go buy your own. I'll tell you here, all you gotta do to get your chance to win these uh, two items here, which is really neat. It's a good milestone. Where it's the first time we're giving away two things at once. Okay, the rules are pretty simple, guys. There's only three things you need to do. Be a subscriber to our channel. Like this video by hitting that little thumbs up down below. Smash it, smash it like you smash that smash burger. And comment, comment on anything. Commenting about these products would be great. What's your experience with them? Have you ever tried Grillholics SPG? Do you want to? And also what kind of gloves do you guys use uh, for your barbecue adventures? Um, this is my new favorite, honestly, guys, because those little dimples on the fingertips, actually, you'd be surprised of how nice that is to have those if you use these gloves a lot. And that's it, guys. Pretty simple. Then this Sunday, we're gonna announce the winner in our next cooking video. We're gonna do a random comment picker, and that's where we're gonna get it. But we are gonna check, make sure you guys are subscribers and you've liked it. So please, please take the time to go ahead and uh, like this video, comment, and subscribe. Now, one thing you're gonna need to provide myself or the vendor here is a valid US mailing address. Pretty simple to do, guys. And you gotta do it quickly. In other words, in under a week, guys. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you joining us on this Wednesday. Uh, we really appreciate it. We really love our subscribers and we wanna give much more to you guys in the future. So if you're a vendor and you're interested in giving us anything to give away during these Wingnut Wednesdays or wanna promote us or, or vice versa, just drop me a line at greenhornbarbecue at gmail.com and we'll talk. So anyway, guys, thanks again, and we will see you on the next video, Sunday.